Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems that help you win every single time. Again, we have every sport covered for you. We're going to take a look at some games in Major League Baseball for April the 7th, or excuse me, April the 11th. But before we do that, I want to remind you to join the VIP Club section, and you'll have access to all of these great tools. So we're going to take a look at some of these games. Like I said, for April the 11th. And there's a lot in store for the first weekend of the Major League Baseball season. Boston and Baltimore, we're not really going to look at that one. Uh, Chicago and Pittsburgh, we're going to take a look at this. In this NL Central battle, the Cubs and Pirates are breaking up the rear in the division. Chicago, you can see, is averaged down at the moment. And you can see that they have lost their last two. And they are 3-3, three and three, or their last six. And Pittsburgh has dead status at the moment. You can see that as far as they have done with wins and losses, they have lost their last five with one win on opening day. Head-to-head -head matchups, you can see that the Cubs and the Pirates have played three times this season. The Cubs winning two out of three at home. You take a look at the Tours predictor. If you're considering better than the over and under, you can see the Cubs are trending in games under the line by four points. And the Pirates also under the lines. So this would be an ideal situation to bet the under. The pitching matchups are Trevor Williams for the Cubs and JT Brubaker for the Pirates. With the pitcher profit oscillator so far, you can see that uh, Brubaker is not a great bet at minus 214. The Williams is a much more solid bet at plus 568. If you think about what's going to happen, look at all these numbers. Again, the odds are not yet posted for this game since it is on Sunday. Wait a day or two before you check on the odds. But I believe that the Cubs will come away with a road win in this one. Angels and the Blue Jays could be a good matchup. Not looking at it, though. Tigers-Indians, Marlins-Mets. Here's the next one we want to look at. The Yankees and the Rays. Now, neither team is starting off well at 4th and 5th in division, but these are two powerhouse teams. In the end, they should be battling for the division. The Yankees are averaged down at the moment. You can see that they're 3-3 three three over their last six. And Tampa Bay is ice cold down. They have struggled. They have lost their last four and 2-4 two and four for the season. Jordan Montgomery is set to pitch for the Yankees. The Rays have not yet mentioned their starting pitcher for the, for the game. Uh, Montgomery struck out seven over six innings without allowing a run in his first start of the season. He pitched very well. Look at the pitcher profit oscillator. You can see that Montgomery has been a very solid bet at plus $286. <clears throat> in the power ranking indicator, the Yankees are plus 28 and the Rays are plus 16. You can see that the trends down for the Rays and up for the Yankees. Look at the head-to-head -head matchup. Have they played yet this season? Nope. This season they have not yet played, so we cannot really take much into consideration there. If you're considering the over and under, the Yankees are trending in games way under the line here, minus 8. The Rays are trending in games over the line, plus 2. Generally, I say to avoid the over-under in these situations, but considering how far under the line the Yankees are, you might want to bet the under on this one. So what I think is going to happen is the Yankees are just on a roll. I don't see the Rays uh, coming out of this funk anytime real soon. They will eventually, but not yet. Montgomery pitched well in the first outing. The Yankees will come away with the road win. Niners and Twins. The Brewers and the Cardinals. This should be a very good matchup in the National League Central Division. The Cardinals are second in the division, while the Brewers currently are third. Both teams are burning hot at the moment, as you can see. On the mound, scheduled for the Brewers is Brett Anderson versus Daniel Ponce de Leon. Over the last six games, you can see that the Brewers are 3-3, three and three, winners of their last two, and the Cardinals are 4-2, and two, winners of their last three. Take a look at the pitcher profit oscillator. You can see that Anderson is not a good bet at minus $370. And Ponce de Leon, although in a small sample size, is a better bet at plus 64. 
look at the totals predictor for this matchup. You can see that the Brewers are trending in games under the line by four points. The Cardinals trending in uh, games over the line, so I would avoid betting the over-under in this matchup. This should be a very good game. I believe that the Cardinals playing at home will have the advantage, and they will take advantage of it and win the game. Again, the lines have not yet been posted for any of these games, so check back in a day or two for those lines. The Padres and the Rangers, another one that should be a good game. This is in the National League West versus the American League West. The Padres come in with the second best record in the National League West, and the Rangers are third in the American League West. See, the Padres are averaged down at the moment. They have, uh, what they've done, like a kick. For some reason, it's not coming up. There we go. Okay, so they have lost three out of their last four, but they're three and three on the season. The Rangers have won their last two and three out of their last four and are three and three on the season. With the head-to-head -head matchup, the two teams played, but not since uh, exhibition plays. So that doesn't really matter for this. Okay, if you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that both teams are on, a, on an upward trend with the Padres at plus 12 and the Rangers at plus 9. Considering the over and under, look how far under the line that the Padres have been, minus 6. And the Rangers also minus 2, a great chance to win some money betting the under. Take a look at the pitcher profit oscillator between these two pitchers. You can see that the matchup between Adrian Morejon and Mike Fultenvich is what? Minus 148 for Fultenvich. And Morejon is at... It looks like here, looking at this, that he is at minus 172. So neither one of them have been great bets. So take that in consideration before betting on this game. Again, the line has not yet been posted. But I think in general that the Padres are going to be the stronger team overall. They will come away with the road win. Rockies and Giants. Reds and Diamondbacks. The last game we we're going to look at here is the Philadelphia Phillies and the Atlanta Braves. The Phillies are the surprise team in the league, or at least one of the surprise teams in the league so far. Winners of five out of their, list, of their first six. You can see that the Phillies are burning hot at the moment, and the Braves are average up. Braves are third in the NL East, and the Phillies are first. Matt Moore is scheduled to pitch for the Phillies against Drew Smiley for the Braves. Moore struggled a bit in his first outing with the control problems, while Smiley is a poor minus 244 on the pitcher profit off, sorry, as we're going to take a look at right now. You can see at minus 244, and Moore is a more solid bet at plus 27. If you take a look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that the Phillies are at plus 21. And the Braves are down here very low at plus two. They just not have yet have gotten on track yet this season. If you're going to look for the betting the over under, you see the Phillies are playing in games trending slightly over the line. The Braves are trending in games under the line. Again, I would avoid the over under for that reason. You might think to bet the Braves because they're playing at home, but until the Phillies cool off, you got to go with the Phillies. So keep on rolling with the Phillies in this one with a road win. So there you have it. Those are the five matchups I wanted to take a look at for the games on Sunday, April 11th in Major League Baseball. Enjoy the betting, and we will see you next time.